Hello. Hey, everybody. Good afternoon. One minute till noon and we can break our fast. <laughs> Coming to you outside of um, my house in Ackworth, Georgia. So if you guys hold on a second, I see we've got some participants here. Let us know if you're in the chat, make sure that you are posting your questions to panelists and attendees. I'm gonna say hey in the group and you guys can see that chat popping up. I'm gonna run real quick and put this live on the Shibboleth page on Facebook. So just bear with me just a second while I do that. And then we can get started. I try to also watch it to see how to move the page if people have questions. So just a second, let me fix that. Ah, I have my laptop on a pillow so it's sliding. <laughs> oh, hilarious. So anyways, I'll hold to get that started. I'll have that turned off. And just a couple of seconds, we will be live here on Facebook. Yay, it's working. <laughs> Anyways, um, shout out to all my Shibboleth friends here on Breaking the Fast. And this is my second class. So every Monday at noon, I will be coming on hopefully to give those that had the opportunity during the week to catch a class. Um, we do have evening classes. So tonight, if you're in the Kennesaw area, there is a 6 p.m. live class or face-to-face -face class, in-person class at the Kennesaw Care Center. It is located inside the desktop community near downtown Kennesaw at Main Street and Giles Road, if you're interested in doing that. Um, there's also a class this evening at 6.30. Um, Dr. Jim will have a class and I am gonna check the event page real quick and see what he's gonna be teaching on, practicing the meal replacement formula. So that's an online webinar as well. If you're a Shibboleth member, you can log in to myshibboleth.com. The very top hand, right hand of your screen, there's a blue rectangle that says upcoming events and you can click on that and get registered for Jim's um, webinar tonight. So who do we have in the chat? Hello, Patricia, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a perfect day. I extended my Spartan Elite challenge this week and I'm doing the Spartan Elite that we did with Jason um, the first four weeks of September. And I'm doing that again this week. I had really good success with that challenge. I love that challenge. And so I wanted to just extend it one more week um, but today I want to talk to you guys about, especially coming off of a weekend, we are about to start a new month. I know I can't believe that September is just around the corner. And it's also a holiday coming up this coming weekend for Labor Day. So there is a lot of things happening in our world. Hello, Marilyn on Facebook. I also see Jerry's watching. Hey, Jerry, how are you? Oh, I get to share this in the real skinny. I'm gonna do that. So noon, Monday noon class. You know, we always have to try to reach as many people as we can. <laughs> so I am gonna share that in the real skinny. And I'm also gonna try to share it in the silver support page if I can. I'm not sure that I can. But yeah, share to a group. So we love our silver support group. So Monday noon class. Learn about holidays. I am the holiday queen, you guys, I promise. Lots of us are kings and queens of the holidays, right? So what better class to have today than we come off a weekend, so some of us probably had holidays. I definitely did have a holiday Saturday. I went to a concert 
in Atlanta at Chastain um, Amphitheater, and we watched Yacht Rock Review. It was so awesome. One of my favorite concerts I've ever been to. You know every word, just growing up in the 70s, so that was great. And then also Sundays are usually my um, holidays because we have family dinner. We call it Sunday Sauce, if you haven't seen me post about that on my Facebook. In fact, I need to post the pictures from yesterday. They were super cute. We had uh, my niece's kids there and they were playing the piano and it was just, it was a lot of fun. So I'll, I'll post that there too. So Patricia is also extending her Spartan um, elite challenge, which is great. And Stevie Wood, yes, getting back on track before doing any challenges is fine. And I'm definitely gonna be talking about that with the holiday lesson today. And Frankie from Douglasville is watching. Hey, Frankie. Hey, Miss Cheryl Bannister and Tina and Evelyn and Sheila. Oh my gosh. So Cheryl, oh my gosh, seven and a half pounds she gained on a four day holiday. And I know she went to New Jersey. Her son had a hockey tournament and there's lots of good food in New Jersey and New York. So guess what? It's a lifestyle. And that's why we love Shibboleth because we are allowed holidays. And what I'm going to talk to you guys about is how to, um, you know, to take them, how to get back into efficient fat burning, how to um, maximize your, uh, your holidays. So I wanted to um, go back over to Facebook real quick. Um, hey, Joni. Yes, I'm not. I need to melt out here, girl. I am going to go walk straight away after this webinar because I need to sweat off some of those holiday pounds. I got to get it in. I got to get it in. Whether or not I do it early in the morning, I don't mind in the afternoon. I actually like it because I'd sweat more. So I love that. And hey, Andrea and Stacy's on Facebook and Allison's on Facebook. She's sharing in her group called Hope for Healing. Thank you so much, Allison. You're so sweet. Um, I appreciate that. The more we can reach and teach, the better. So what I'm going to talk about first is there's three things. So we had a holiday over the weekend, possibly, and how do we come back from that? Second, I'm going to talk about it's a new month coming up and how do we prepare for that? And then third, we're gonna talk about the upcoming holiday, Labor Day, and how we can do some things to prepare ourselves for that. So let's talk about the second thing first. So I printed off this little calendar. I just went on Google and put in September 2021 calendar, popped this open on my screen and pressed print. So it's September 2021. If it's backwards, I'm sorry. It's backwards to me on the webinar. It might be backwards to you. But this was a tip that Kim Danke gave me, and I do it every month. Whether or not you write it down on a piece of paper or you print out your, your calendar or you do it in your calendar that you have that you use um, every day or every week or month, or if you use it on your phone, it doesn't matter. But I printed out this, and I'm putting in the days. I looked at my calendar. What do I have that's going to be, you know, a holiday that I know I'm going to take? So there's the, the holiday weekend's coming up. I don't know if I'm going to have holidays Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I probably will, but I just put them in there anyway, because if I don't and I make it a perfect day, then I have an extra holiday, right? Um, the 20th here is my birthday. Whoop, whoop. So I will probably have a holiday either on my birthday or the day before. So maybe I'll just have the holiday on the Sunday before when we have our Sunday dinner and our Sunday sauce. So right now on my calendar, I have one, two, three, four, five holidays written in there. And so if I decide to have, you know, a holiday on the 12th, I put a question mark beside that. I just, I like to go through the month and pinpoint out the days that I know are going to be holidays. Am I traveling anywhere? Is it a real birthday? Is it a holiday, like a real holiday coming up? So speaking of that, number three, we'll talk about second. I guess I should have put those in a different order. But number three, we'll talk about second. So we have Labor Day weekend coming up, right? So depends on what you're doing. Maybe you're out of town. Maybe you're taking a long extended 
a vacation maybe or a weekend or maybe you're taking your vacation. I know a lot of schools are back um, already, but some schools specifically up north, they start after Labor Day. So maybe you're taking this week as your family vacation or something like that. And um, all I know is depending on the month that you've had, how are you gonna handle that? Are you gonna have a holiday every day for your vacationing or you're gonna have a holiday every day over the weekend? Um, you know, you need to make those decisions. How many holidays do you have left? Are they gonna become diet devils if you have too many? We get six, if you're not a Shibboleth member and you're watching, we get six holidays a month to eat whatever we want. And that's why on my calendar, I had marked out five holidays but then I'll know in the back of my head, I've got one extra one for September if something comes up or if I have an accidental holiday. I've got maybe three holidays this weekend. I don't really have plans or going on a vacation or anything. So it's probably best that I don't use all three of those holidays and maybe use them um, for another, another day during the month. But what you could do say holidays are coming up football's about to start you're going to a tailgate you're going to a barbecue how can you make those days perfect let's say you're going to a, a party take your own shibboleth approved recipe if it's you know bring your own um, bring an appetizer there's so many amazing appetizers in the shibboleth recipe resources. In fact, when you go to recipe resources, there's a, a link just for appetizers. Click on that. Um, check it out. See if there's something you can make and take and that you know is going to be at the party that you know you can eat, that you know is um, Shibboleth approved. Maybe save your snack and your extra for the party. So you could have your Shibboleth approved appetizer you could take maybe your, um, your chips, that could be your snack, and maybe some cheese dip or salsa, that could be your extra. So try to be a little um, prepared for your party. If it's a holiday, then don't worry about it. You know, what are you going to do if it is your holiday? Then that's great. Then don't worry about taking something that Shibboleth approved. Just go and enjoy enjoy the holiday, enjoy the barbecue, enjoy the tailgate, enjoy the special barbecue you're going to have at your own house and just enjoy that holiday because holidays are a big part of Shibboleth. It's one of the main reasons besides I get to eat a Chick-fil-A that I love Shibboleth because we do get those six holidays a month to have whatever we want. And then when we're in maintenance, we get 12. And I don't personally know what to do with 12 holidays a month. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to just, you know, I'll usually will put some weight on if I take all 12 of them, but I know I can have them. And what's even more important is I know that I just get right back on Shibboleth and it's going to come right off. So when you have a holiday, say that you're going to have your holidays this coming weekend, um, Let's, on that day, let's still follow the shield. We have our five components of our shield that we use every day. We still want to drink all of our water. First of all, af I'm going to talk about after holidays next, but drink all your water. I had to get my gallon bottle back out today. I had two holidays in a row and I'm up a few pounds. But look, I'm already at three o'clock and it's noon. So get your water in, even if it's the day after, well, if every day in Shibboleth, you need to be drinking 64 ounces, but I made a decision that this week and throughout the fall fall off challenge that I'm hosting, and I'll give you guys some information about that too. I'm gonna drink a gallon of water every day. And that really helps with hunger. It helps flush out all the toxins in our body that maybe all the glycogen and all the things that we did to ourselves over our holidays. It just flushes all that out and it makes you feel better because I am definitely swollen after a holiday the next day. So that water really, really helps flush all of that out. So let's, the day after and on our holiday, 
and on a perfect day. Let's get our water in. So if we're having a holiday, still get in your water, still practice portion control. So you're going to eat that special meal, but don't have four helpings, you know, stick with the six inch plate, stick with the two hand rule. You know, obviously, probably the only thing that you're not going to do is follow the correct combinations or you're going to have some non-approved foods. That's probably what you're doing on your holiday if you follow this plan and still follow the shield. Journal. It's important to still journal, even if you're having your holiday. Of course, we want to mark that we've had a holiday, but we also want to journal what we had. Maybe even journaling at the bottom of our um, our journal day, how we felt, how that food affected us the next day. Um, we could pop that in the following day and just say, oh, I had a terrible holiday. I felt awful. I was swollen. And you could talk about that in your journal about how it made you feel. And of course, timing, maybe still, if you're having your holiday, if it's a hog trough day, which we generally say we just eat whatever we want all day long, maybe still think about your timing and only having your three meals every four to six hours. Now, these are just suggestions. And if you're having a holiday and you're the type of person that says it's a holiday, I don't care, that's fine. <laughs> then don't drink your water and eat five portions and eat all day long. It doesn't matter. It's your holiday. You can do what you want. But if you want to make it where it's not as bad on you or to get back into efficient fat burning faster, a lot of people just have a hollow meal, which means you're going to have maybe you're gonna have your regular shibboleth breakfast and lunch and your hollow meal is um, like your dinner or if you went to that uh, tailgate party and it's during the day, like that one meal that you're gonna have that's your holiday, we call that's what we call a hollow meal. So if you hear people talking about that, it's still a holiday, but that just means you only had one of your meals that day that wasn't approved, it wasn't uh, following the combinations and you probably had some non-approved foods that, that meal but um, stick to the shield that day. And I think you'll have better success and you'll be able to come back better after if um, you follow that. So the next day, what can you do the next day after a holiday? Well, I've already mentioned, you know, going swimming. We're going swimming with our water. We're definitely doing that. Um, the next day, it's very important to do that. If you wanna get into efficient fat burning the next day, you can fast, you can do a wow challenge, and you can walk at least 20,000 steps. Of course, putting that all in your journal, marking your journal as an intermittent fasting day, completing a wow challenge, and entering your 20,000 steps plus into your journal, that's going to get you into intermittent fasting the next day. But when we have a holiday, Sometimes, well, most of the time, depending on how my holiday was, those holidays will spike our insulin because we're not following the combination and we're having non-approved foods. So when that happens and we're spiking our insulin, well, our body wants us to continue doing that. So the next day I find I'm even hungrier. I'm like, oh gosh, you know, I, I, I get up hungry. There's no way I'm going to fast. There's no way I could do a wow challenge. Having a regular Shibboleth day the next day is 100% fine. In fact, just have a perfect day. Whether you're trying to get it off and get into efficient fat burning day one or just following the Shibboleth lifestyle, where if you have a holiday, you need to have two perfect days in a row. And on the third day, you're back into efficient fat burning. And that's generally why, I don't know if you guys um, see that we always call it Way in Wednesday. And I didn't even realize that that's why they called it Way in Wednesday until Travis explained it. He's like, we do Way in Wednesday because most of the time people have holidays on the weekends, right? So don't weigh on, I'm a, I'm a daily weigher by the way, but if you just wanna weigh once a week, way on Wednesday if you're having your typical holidays on the weekends because you're back in efficient fat burning on Wednesday and it's you're not gonna go oh my gosh I gained 10 pounds or seven pounds like Cheryl did I gained five pounds over the weekend so you don't you know 
totally freak out about your weight gain. And one other thing is I am a daily wear and that doesn't freak me out anymore because I know that I'm going to do the right things to get back into efficient fat burning and that weight is just going to come right back off. So that's another tip. Don't freak out. <laughs> we get, just get right back in the planet and you know, the program's going to work and it's going to come right off. Okay. So regular Shibboleth is fine, but I'm just giving you some extra tips if you want to get in the very next day. Um, maybe you were way off course and you just have had way too many holidays. What do you do? Maybe you had four or five in a row, or you just haven't even gotten back into Shibboleth since the last holiday, <laughs> your vacation in July or something, and you're just trying to jump back into Shibboleth um, and get back on the program. What can you do? First and foremost, have a regular day, then have another, a per, I'm sorry, a perfect day. Then the second day, have a perfect day. Then the third day, you're inefficient fat burning and keep those flames going. Give yourself a goal to do a 21 day perfect day and earn a 21 day badge. You could also do Travis's 21 day challenge. You can do that challenge at any time. And when this is over, I will post in the Shibboleth um, group, the Shibboleth public page, I'll put the link to Travis's 21 day video and in that 21 day video on the Masha Bullock website, it has all the food list. It has everything that you need to do to do a 21 day challenge on your own. You can just do 21 perfect days and you're still gonna earn the badge. But if you wanna go on a little deeper level, he recommends 20, uh, you pick 21 foods from his meal list and you can change it every seven days. So three weeks, you can change your foods. There's recipes, you can do wow challenges, stuff like that. He explains it all in the video. That's a great challenge to do on your own or get a group of people to do it with you. You can do the Tiger's Eye three day. Are you a Tiger's Eye member? There's a Tiger's Eye three day challenge that's great. And I can put the information for that in the post as well. Do wow challenges. Of course, we said if you intermittent fast wow and get the 20,000 plus steps in, you are going to be an efficient fat burning faster, but maybe just do a wow challenge and just do it perfect in the way the wow challenge explains for you to do it. Maybe do three or four in a row. Maybe if you're a Tiger's Eye member, you can do a lion day or a shark day. And again, there's more information about that in your Tiger's Eye um, section on the videos. Go to Tiger's Eye and look up the lion and shark days. You can learn about those through Travis. But whatever you do, come back. Don't continue on the holiday landslide, okay? It's a lifestyle. Holidays are included. That's what I love the most about Shibola. We know the nutritional education and we know how to get back into efficient fat burning however fast you wanna do it or if you just wanna do it having regular Shibola days. Um, it's not a race. You know, yes, zero holidays a month or more efficient fat burning days in a row is going to get that weight off faster. But if you need those holidays, take them. They're there for you. They're there to have them. This is your Shibboleth. And, you know, Kim Danke had 21 day perfect days every 21 days and she lost 50 pounds in four and a half months. That's incredible. Okay, September, October, November, December. By the end of December, you could be 45 to 50 pounds lighter if you took zero holidays. Now, that's on an average, okay? Like, don't quote me on that. You're gonna call me up and go, I only lost 40. Hey, that's awesome. But if you take those holidays during it, think about what's happening. You're getting yourself off efficient fat burning so you're going to have to kind of, in a way, start that process over again. But it's going to slow your fat burning down a little bit. It's going to slow your weight loss down a little bit. Just prepare yourself mentally for that and you'll be fine. So remember, we also burn fat. So measure, measure, measure. Just because maybe you've had all those holidays and the weight isn't coming off as fast as you thought, Make sure you take those measurements because we lose a ton of inches doing Shibboleth because the nutritional education 
has taught us to, um, sorry, it's a little sweaty out here. Joni, you might have good advice to come in a melt out here. I'm like, I don't even know. I'm like, ooh, I should have brought a towel. But um, we burn more inches on Shibboleth because um, of the nutritional education and getting our body into efficient fat burning. So I spoke about prepping yourself for the new month. I spoke about preparing yourself for the upcoming Labor Day weekend. What are you going to do? Figure out where you're going. If you're going to parties, you're going to tailgates, you're going to barbecues, you're going to have a picnic, you're going to the lake. Figure out if you want those to be holidays or if you want them to be perfect days. Plan ahead already. Start to think about what you're going to make. You know, we can have approved hot dogs, approved hamburgers with approved buns. We can have the side salad. We can take our own dressings. We can take our own appetizers. We can have anything on Shibboleth and you can eat the holiday food at the party. It's fine. Just make a plan. And then most importantly, when you've had your holiday, what do you do to get back on the planet faster? Okay, we talked about the intermittent fasting, the wow challenge, the steps, just getting back into the lifestyle doing a 21 day challenge, doing an upcoming uh, tiger's eye challenge or a lion or shark day. I have a page called the real skinny and we are going to be doing the fall fall off challenge. It is free. It's a free challenge. If you are not a Shibboleth member, it's free trial for you. If you are a Shibboleth member, I just ask that you join in and that you encourage people, you participate we put all our pictures at the end of the day of the food that we ate. We talk about um, how great Shibboleth is. People get to see the encouragement, the support. Please tell us your non-scale victories and your victories of everything that's going on with you those two weeks. We start the Tuesday after Labor Day. If you're interested in that, please comment. If you're friends with me, message me. Um, I can also put the link to the Real Skinny in the comments section on the Shibboleth public page. Join us there. It's a complete meal plan, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Everything's included, recipes. If you are not a member, everything will be provided for you. You never have to log in to the website, but you're going to love it. And you're going to want to have access to all the recipes, all of the support, the nutritional education that we learn. And if you are on the fence and you want to jump in on the last couple days of August, we have our $79 lifetime special. Please run to www.shibolithdeals.com. That's S-H-I-B-B-O-L-E-T-H-D-E-A-L-S.com. If somebody could post that in the Facebook comments, I would appreciate it. And in the chat, that would be great. And I'm going to go to the chat and I'm going to go to Facebook next and see if anybody has any questions. Um, if, no, if, and if nobody posts it there, I'll do it later. No worries. But ShibolithDeals.com. We have two more days of August. It is Travis Martin's birthday special. His birthday is tomorrow. So happy early birthday, Travis. So after that, there's going to be something in September. We don't know what it is. We don't know what he's going to do in September. But as of right now, Today and tomorrow, it's $79 for a lifetime of Shibboleth. You never pay again. You buy everything at the grocery store. You never, ever have to pay again. The website for the challenge, Sherry, is my actual Facebook private group called The Real Skinny. All lowercase words, The Real Skinny. And um, I will post it um, here. As I'm going to go on here real quick. I actually have it pulled up. I will put that here in the webinar because after the webinar is over, you really won't be able to find it anywhere unless you go to the Shibboleth website. And I will put that on the Facebook Shibboleth public page for everybody to follow too. So we have the 21 day challenge you can do on your own. We're starting the Shibboleth. We're calling it the fall, fall off challenge. Um, we have two documents that you'll find. It's the regular What is Shibboleth seven-day free challenge. And then I've added some fall recipes. And um, it's all in the group. You, you won't be able to miss it. Um, you'll just join that group. And then we will have all the information there for you to start. 
I ask that you bring a friend because the only way we are able to continue this ministry is through sharing the ministry. Um, it is a ministry first and foremost. And for $79 for a lifetime membership, you know, that gives you access to the website, the, the food library, the restaurant options, the recipes, the learning, the support, the mentor appointments. Like there's so much you get for $79. And really, honestly, that's all you pay. You can buy everything at the grocery store. Everything in our challenge you get from the grocery store. It's just a free trial for people that have never done Shibboleth before. It's a free trial or a free challenge for Shibboleth members to jump back in, to get excited about it. And I really want to encourage you, if you join that, please ask a friend, please invite them, show it to them, do it with them. We have so much encouragement and so much support on that page as we all do in our Shibboleth family. So 79 bucks, two more days, lifetime membership, you get all levels. So you'll be able to look at Lion Day and Shark Day and Tiger Eye three day challenges. Once you get your foot in the door, <laughs> you'll be able to see all that as a silver member. You're, you're not a, you aren't, you don't have access to all of that. So I'm gonna pop in the chat real quick and see if anybody has any questions. Um, and then I'm gonna pop over to Facebook and um, we're gonna see, oh, thank you. Happy early birthday. Thank you, Phyllis. Hey, Polly, nice to see you. Um, Jennifer, it's okay if you had an emergency. You could always watch this video later. It's not recorded and sent. It's recorded and put on the My Shibboleth website, but it's probably easiest just to go to the Shibboleth public page. It's there and it's always there and you can rewatch it there as well. It's also on the silver page right now. It's in my group called The Real Skinny. Um, Allison shared it to her group called Hope for Healing with Allison. And let's see, um, oh, Alicia McInnes, you're welcome. You're welcome. Jump back in on the challenge with us, girl. You're on the real skinny. You know what I'm talking about. Um, Sherry Snell is driving. What's your website again? I'm already a, mem a member. So the I put in the chat, the group, the Facebook group to join the real skinny. And you, again, just can search that on Facebook, the real skinny, all lowercase letters. Uh, but I did put it in here and I'll also add it to the Shibboleth public page. Um, yes, Cheryl, invite everyone, friends, family, coworkers, neighbors. Let's do this all together. And um, Samantha, go like Lee, listened to me for the first time. Thank you. Thanks for popping in. I will be here next Monday. It's Labor Day. I'll be here at noon. I'll be here every Monday at noon. So you guys um, join me either if you if you joined the webinar and you registered for the webinar, you're going to get a reminder already every week to join me. But you also can, again, watch on the Shibboleth website. And let's see, I'm going to put in here in the chat the website to join Shibboleth because maybe you are not a Shibboleth member. And please, if someone asked you or you know of someone that's doing Shibboleth, when you go to ShibbolethDeals.com to join, there's a little spot that you can put um, that person's name in there as a referral. Shibboleth just likes to give us a little thank you for referring. And for me, I like the badge. I get a badge and I have over 300 members that have joined me in Shibboleth and that badge just keeps bigger and bigger. That makes me happy. So <laughs> join my badge. Um, oh, hey, Kim. How are you, girl? Hope Ella J is awesome. I hope you're going to join the challenge with us. And Jennifer, as soon as I'm off the group, I will approve members into the real skinny it is a private page and i do like to monitor that uh, because it is a lifestyle page and we talk about a lot of great stuff in there that maybe people don't want to see in public so that's that so i'm going to run on the um the, the facebook chat to see if there's anybody on facebook that has a question and then we will end our meeting if you have a question please pop that up in either your the Facebook feed or here in the chat. Um, maybe I just explained holidays really well, but holidays are awesome. I love holidays. Hey, Marla. Hey, Christine. She's going to go share with her nurse. I uh, love it. Hey, Robin, I see you're watching. Nicole Smith, my new friend in Kennesaw that I met at Whole Foods. 
Um, I actually went to Publix today, so didn't get to Whole Foods. Um, it's a little closer to my house and I had to run to the store and get back here by noon. <laughs> Oh, yes, Shane, I agree with you. I love holidays too, but they do make me feel bad. And I'm always ready to get back into efficient fat burning. That is a fact. And thank you, Joni, for putting Shibboleth deals on the, um, the page and the Facebook group, The Real Skinny. I appreciate it. I will also be posting some of those other things we talked about, the 21 day challenge, the Tiger's Eye three day challenge. It is now 1, 2, 3, 4 p.m. I love that it's 1234. So I'm going to end the webinar on that. And I want to invite you all to have a wonderful day, invite you to the real skinny, invite you to join Shibboleth if you're not a member. We have the best time. We have the best group, the best family. I've lost 42 pounds in two years. I've kept it off. I mean, it didn't take me two years to lose it. It took me like four months to lose it, but I, uh, cause I had a couple more holidays than Kim Dunkey did, but I um, encourage you to join us. It's the best planet ever, planet Shibboleth, best family. I've kept that weight off just by continuing to follow the lifestyle. And I um, hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope y'all um, have a great holiday weekend. And next Monday, which is actually on the holiday, I'll be here and um, I'm going to talk about something different. I don't know what, but maybe we can all talk about our holidays and what, we, what we're doing that day. So <laughs> anyways, hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you next Monday.